Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for an apartment renovation. So today we are renovating um, this apartment. One of the Jasmine, I think it's, I want to say it's 2B. But I'm not sure. 2B Jasmine Suites, I think. <laughs> um, anyways, this is the Spice District. And I don't know what it is about the Spice District, but that's just my favorite place to renovate apartments and I was thinking when I started this one I really need to work on a bigger apartment but for some reason they just intimidate me so bad so I probably in the future will be working on maybe like a family big family apartment because I haven't done that yet I usually like to stick to the smaller ones just because there's something about the small space of an apartment that is just very realistic and honestly it's just easier and faster for me to get content out but anyways for this apartment at first I was thinking I was gonna go with like a vintage themed um, you know decoration style whatever but when I started, I realized, okay, this is not very, like, vintage -y because, okay, well, it kind of is, but when I think of vintage, I kind of think of the glamour stuff pack, you know, like, very Parison vintage, uh, kind of mixed between, like, antique and modern, you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, for this, I just imagine that it is kind of like antique. So, I'm not really sure what I'm going to call it yet. I don't know if I'm going to call it antique apartment because that just makes it sound like super old or an antique lover's apartment. It was probably a little bit more appropriate because I definitely see this sim being a young adult, uh, prob probably a female. And she's just very into antiques. And I know a lot of people that are like that. <laughs> and they like to visit the antique stores and they're buying antique furniture. And, you know, they'll come home and they'll even you know, sometimes distress it, make it their own. And it's really, really pretty. So that was kind of my inspiration behind this. I haven't done an apartment in that style yet. So it was really fun um, when I do apartments. I kind of like to have a theme uh, versus like a house where you know the house is either going to be modern or a bungalow style or a beach house now that we have island living it's easier to kind of like style it that way because of where you're building the house at and what kind of house it is but for an apartment i just like to have a theme so yes if you have any suggestions for future apartment themes uh renovations please let me know in the comments down below i have a list um, that I've come up with to work on but I just I feel like it's not that many so if you guys want to see anything specifically let me know but anyways um, I completed the living room the dining room but I, I kind of go back in and add a little bit more decorations I was just trying to figure out the layout of this apartment uh, the kitchen is not my favorite I like the cabinets and everything but it's just not very spacious at all. Obviously, there's not a lot of counter space. I didn't have any room to put like an island right there because it just looked very weird and awkward. So I ended up just putting a table right there, which I do frequently in my builds when I don't have a lot of room for an actual, um, you know, island in the middle. Sometimes I'll just put a table, but I wanted to kind of use those bar stools because they matched the couch and just looked very antique uh, but they they just looked like they didn't fit because they didn't <laughs> so I sized them down to make them look like mini bar stools so you can definitely sit and it be the right height and everything uh, but obviously I don't think you can't sit and eat there so it's just for looks <laughs> but anyways um, there is a lot of decorations that are very vintagey which was not vintagey. I see I'm using the wrong words, like antique -y. There you go. That made it really easy for me to decorate this apartment. Um, but yeah, I really love it. Uh, and I like the china and the china cabinets. Um, I don't know. If you're into antiques, let me know. I personally, I really like the style of it, but I don't, I wouldn't style my house very antique-ish um, when I finally do get a house, which 
surprise report, <laughs> we have found some land and we are in the process of trying to get it. So hopefully things go well and we will have some land and then we will be able to start building on it and prepare and so we will have our first home. Um, so that's exciting. But anyways, I would you know tend to lean more towards like a farmhouse style just because that's my preference and like my dream house but I do love the antique style I think it's so pretty and there's just something about this apartment that is very cozy and it's not grandma-ish to me okay some people think that if you have antiques you're like a grandma no I just think you're an old soul and you appreciate you know timeless objects because like these objects you know these these items these decorations they are they're timeless and they're so beautiful they really are i love it but yeah i do enjoy to go to antique stores my um, mother-in-law pretty much <laughs> she loves to go to antique stores um she had to get a desk for the nursery and the desk is kind of antique and um she came and she distressed it and it looks really really pretty but yeah as far as like the hallway area right here that you see me struggling with I was trying to figure out where to place the washer and dryer because y'all know me I like to have washers and dryers in my game it's just realistic uh, but I just I didn't like how it looked there in the hallway so I ended up putting it in the bathroom which is sometimes common for apartments not usually apartments that I've seen around here where I live I have lived in an apartment and we have like a little hallway closet so yeah, that's kind of why I try to tend to typically put it in the hallway, uh, but <laughs> it just looked really awkward and weird, so it worked out perfectly in the bathroom, but anyways, here I am working on the entryway here, and I just, you know, of course, used the little table and mirror with the same decorations that I usually use, but I was obviously trying to find some that looked a little bit more antique. Um, and then that bookshelf that I, I love that bookshelf um, with the with the uh, what, what do you call it like the the drawer like the the cabinets that open up I think that's so pretty it's very like vintagey and antique looking so I don't really use it often in builds but when I do it's probably one of my favorite bookshelves I think it's so pretty. Anyways, um, yeah, I just add some, like, pictures and kind of clutter it up as much as I could. I, I wanted to fill in the blank spaces. So I imagine that she has a lot of books as well just to add to the theme of her, you know, apartment being very antique. All those antique pictures. Um, collages on the wall. I actually end up changing that swatch of the boats to the swatch of the black and white pictures. It just kind of reminds me of, you know, antique, like vintage, old-timey actors and actresses. And I think it's so cute. But anyways, as far as a sim that lives here, I, I did say that I imagine it being a young adult. And I do imagine her, obviously, being very into, you know, antique. She's an old soul and everything like that. But I kind of imagine her being like a writer too. Uh, so this is her bedroom. It is two bedroom and one bath. Um, I don't imagine her having a kid yet. So I didn't furnish it for a child or anything. Uh, but you know, I like to have two bedrooms at least in most of my bills just in case you want to download this and you want an extra room to add on to if your sim decides to grow her family and you don't feel like moving right away or you actually play by the, the, the actual like rules of the game and you don't mother load or ka or cheat or anything like that. So anyways, I made the other bedroom just a little office area. It has, you know, a bookshelf. Um, a desk, a computer, and everything, but I went back and forth between the swatches in her bedroom. I just, I don't keep that green. I like the green, but it just, it wasn't flowing for me. I don't know how to explain it, so I do believe I go back and change it to the striped yellow-brown color, which I think turned out cute, turned out pretty nice. Put a little chair here in the corner, but yeah, the bedroom's pretty small not a lot of room for a bunch of stuff and I, I do believe I put that picture collage um yeah I do put the picture collage there and I make it the other swatch where it's kind of like you know antique pictures of different countries and stuff like that but 
anyways, yeah, I imagine that she is either an aspiring um, writer, author, or maybe she's just a blogger, something like that, and she's just in the journalism career, that's an option too, but I don't know, there's just something about like an old soul that reminds me of books, <laughs> I don't know, it's just because uh, they appreciate art like that, like, I don't know, different time, I don't, do y'all know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> it's clearly not me, uh, I do like antiques, but it's just, I'm, I'm not really an old soul, not for real, but there's some people that are, and I, I, I just, I know people, and they're cute, y'all know those people, you might be one of those people, they're just like an old soul, like, you talk to them, you're, they're just like an old, I don't know how to explain it, but the, even their fashion is just very trendy, but at the same time, it's, it's stylish, but it's, it's dated, <laughs> and modest. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? I don't know. I just imagined that this sim is like that. So if, if you have a hard time understanding what I'm trying to say or uh, communicate to you when I talk about an old soul. <laughs> but anyways, here is her office or, you know, you could use it as a second bedroom if you wish. I did use the same wallpaper color throughout both bedrooms. Um, just because, um, I, I don't know, I just it just flowed. <laughs> but anyways, like I said, I just put a bookshelf in here and a desk, computer. And I think I put a chess table in there as well. But I didn't clutter it up a lot because, I, I, you know, if you wanted to download this, which it is available for download on the gallery, you can add to it whatever you want. I wanted to leave some room for you to put, um, you know, if you want to put like a decoration box in there or something that I forgot or, you know, maybe your sim likes to paint too. I don't know. I just wanted to, you know, leave you some room to add a few things in this room. So anyways, like I said, this video is available for download on the gallery. If you liked it, you can download it. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Love y'all. Bye. Take it into her side